All right, so we are back, and today looking at the LiftMaster uh, 8587WL I was talking about. This is the uh, one that was a showroom demo display model that had, again, a little short stubby rail and was actually never ran. So this is quite literally brand new. It has five cycles on it for me running it and testing it. So, yeah, this and the WLED, which is back there. So, now, this one is a little bit older. It's from uh, January 26, 2018. I don't know if you can read that. This one is still lock capable. Um, this one, you can see, is still powder coated, too. So, like I said, this one was actually, it was, you know, never ran, so brand new. Now, this one doesn't sound nearly as good as that 85870 does, but I still think, I think, well, I don't know, it might be slightly, I don't know, it sounds a little different than this one. It's got a little bit of motor noise to it. It's, I'm not really concerned about it, because especially, it's especially <laughs> way quieter than that one back there. That's the crappy one that I have, um, which this one only had one light cover, so I had to steal light covers off of <laughs> that one. Well, actually... One of the light covers on this one is from that opener as well. So, anyways, um, I mean, yeah, it's just another 8587, except this one is a brand new one. So, pretty cool. We do, of course, have dual sprocket and all that. Same 880 LM. We'll run this one. This one actually waits a little bit longer when it retracts the lock before it actually runs the door. I'll show you. So you can see it waits like a second before it starts moving. It's, I mean, it's it's still pretty quiet. Um, would be nice if it was a little quieter, but I mean, it still sounds pretty decent. Um, this opener, I opened it up. I had to put a power cord on this one as well because it was cut. Uh, this opener also didn't have a travel module in it, so I had a couple. Uh, this one box, I think, is yeah. This box is empty now, but I put the travel module. The travel module that's in this opener is the original one from that 8587 and you know i replaced the travel module on that opener twice and it didn't fix the issue so the travel module from that one is fine um so anyway run this down here yeah so um, let's see, let me run it with this remote here. This is the remote that I have programmed to this one. Well, I have a program to all three openers, but it's the main remote for this opener. Anyway, let's run it again with this remote. Um, let's give you a sensor test on this thing, actually. Another button. Obviously not an MC opener. That flashes too. So, yeah. Um, hold up, just hang the sensor back down. There we go. Yeah, all right, um, I do have it connected to my queue, so I'm gonna show you that, and then that's gonna be it. So, open up the my queue app here. Scroll through, I've got my extremely long list of <laughs> my IQ things. Uh, which one is it? This one here. And back 
down. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. I can say I definitely have acquired a good amount of three-quarter horsepower machines. Uh, all the ones I have, the 8557W, 85870, the 8587WL, the older one, or the, well, the newer, crappier one. I've got a 3595 and a 2595. Uh, what else? Well, I obviously have the 8587W, a brand new 8587 WL. I have a 3585 here. I've got a, well, that's a three quarter Craftsman screwdriver. I have a 3575 down there somewhere. I also have that MyQ three quarter horsepower Chamberlain down in here somewhere. So, yeah, I've got plenty of three quarter machines to go around. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.